Good morning from Crabtree Hollow. Well, it's been a while since I've done a video and uh, I have been trying to get to things as they come up in importance. So since I'm not a video type person, this is not what I'm what I do, I only have videos for instruction of the Halloween King tools and tips and different things I can maybe help people with in their workshop. But anyway, this morning, uh, as I'm hollowing this American mahogany vase, uh, it's, um, it's just, it's come up recently in conversation with uh, customers that, um, you know, now I have a HK100, now I need a, a, a different one because the 100 is a little bit heavy and, and uh, awkward as far as in the smaller pieces. And yes it is, that's why there's different sizes. When I was developing these tools, I rapidly found out that it, not one tool fits all. So. Uh, throughout the years I have come to really like all of them. The thing that people have to understand and, and, and know is what they are targeting as far as what they want to do. Is it a small, or it, do they do small things, you know, most people do small things. So you don't need an HK100, maybe not even an HK75. But for versatility and everything, the HK100 is the most versatile because it has the two nose bars, uh, one straighter one and one bent one. And so it can do a lot. And you can use it for bowls and things like this. It's just not the handiest tool for that because of its weight and size. The HK75 is my favorite. Uh, it just does a lot of different things well. And uh, But getting back to this, this vase here, uh, a 75 will only go in so far. Now <laughs> this 75 is a, a wooden handle. Uh, I use this in the shop for uh, about a year and a half, I think, uh, as an experiment. So this is the first time I've used this tool for a long time, and I can see why. Okay. So anyway, this tool goes in to about here, and then I have to use the longer HK100, and that's okay. But what this tool does is it spells me from having to pick up that great big thing, um, and the 100 each time when this tool does as good a job or better. It's a little lighter. It's, a, uh, just, it's just a, a handier tool to use when you're here. So that's what I wanted to go over with you about is no, one tool doesn't fit all. And I use all, all five of the tools. In fact, you know, I use all six of the tools uh, because of the HK58C or custom. And that, that's the one with the longer shaft and uh, the straight shaft. And that's to get into really narrow neck areas. Or if I get too carried away, and I get a little bit, I, I need more depth and I ran out of tool on the 75, I can pick up the HK58C and clean out the bottom and maybe go a little bit deeper if I need it. It, it saves some vases from uh, uh, catastrophe <laughs> and uh, it makes others just a, a, a nicer vessel um, to sell. So anyway, that's why I have all these tools. 
I'm also uh, looking at uh, coming out with some uh, new configurations on blades. The uh, teardrop is, is does a good job, but I have been experimenting with some others that I think um, would be of great benefit to a lot of the turners out there that have these tools already. And they'll be for more, uh, for a little bit more finishing of different things. I need to go in and get some things for uh, to show you. King 5, I believe is finished. Uh, I put the last coat of polyurethane on this guy, I believe yesterday, and uh, I've yet to really do a close inspection to make sure that uh, I don't have any hidden runs, uh, any large pieces of dust, uh, dirt in it, etc., etc. This is uh, one of a few pieces I uh, got from the Oregon Burrow Hunter. It's black oak. As you can see, the coloring in it is extraordinary. This one I left a little bit thick, a lot, uh, quite a bit thicker than what I like to leave bases, but I was, I was really afraid that this was going to fly apart and uh, even though I had it turned down pretty low, the, uh, all, the, all the different inclusions in it and whatnot, the cracks and voids and all this, I, and you never know when it's going to pop up. Okay, this little guy here, uh, he measures right at six, six inches high uh, by... Uh, about oh, four and a quarter inches wide. Now this one, I stopped to clean it out one time and it was almost ready to fly apart. And I carefully massaged it back together and glued it. So, and it held just fine. I, I was surprised that it went back uh, to its original uh, places so, so easily. This is another very elegant looking vase. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, ha happy Halloween and stay with the green. Paul Crabtree.